Lord show me love, me love I see blessings from website, from the streets in the ghetto Hello, you know what it is, my name is uh, Onome Onoko Kuomo. I'm from Delta State and my name is Young Six and you're welcome to My Music and I on Sound City, it's what it is, keep it up. I represent KKTBM, that's Cash Camp Trick Billionaire Music, that's the name of my record label. And the title of my debut album is 6 O'Clock, that's figure 6 IX O'Clock, and that's because it's my time. Yeah, we have 16 songs on the album and it features uh, most of Africa's big names right now. Uh, one of my favorite songs of the album uh, has to be First Class. Um, it was inspired by a, a specific moment in my life where a lot of things were going wrong and all of a sudden everything just started going well. So it was the transformation process for me. The, the song was actually produced by my producer OT Beats. The video was shot by Unlimited LA. We shot it um, around Ikui in Lagos on the island and then we shot some parts also in 1004. That music says a lot about me and a lot about what I was going through and a lot about my personality as Young Six, not just a rapper. It was me expressing myself, saying what I felt and just channeling my emotions through music and I rounded it up with a good video and a couple of awards as well. So yeah, that's what it is, first class. One tweet, I shot a video for that as well. The inspiration behind that song came from when I, I tweeted something and said I was the best rapper in Nigeria and then there was so much buzz around it, you know, people tripping from all over Africa saying Young Six this, Young Six that. We had people releasing songs all because of Young Six. And that was what inspired the song and I titled the song One Tweet. I never knew that one tweet from 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 Superstar could cause so much controversy and buzz. And that was what I capitalized on to build the buzz for my album. And that song is titled One Tweet Notice and the video was also shot and directed by Unlimited LA. Let me tell you a story behind Bansh. Bansh was one of the 17 songs I took to MI's house and I didn't even take the song there to record the song with him. I actually took another song there to work on with him and then he heard that song and said, yo, who did that song? Who produced that song? I have to be on that bit. Ironically, out of all the 17 songs, that was the only song I produced myself. And even on the album, I think that was the only song I actually produced myself. So MI said he liked the song and then we did the song. The song was actually inspired by a couple of fans um, from different schools who were you know, social media telling me lots of stuff and all that. So, you know, I put that into the song and then came out with a masterpiece and it started to punch. And that was actually my recent hit song. You turn on the lights, baby. Lights features Yemi Alade. It's a very, very sexual song. It's a couple song. It's a song for people in a relationship, you know, expressing love and expressing emotions in deeper ways than the ordinary. So that's what Lights is all about. Amen. I love that song. The tone of that song, the sound and where it came from, it was produced by Bobby Combs and it was produced when I was still with um, my, my former record label. Storm Records. The song was inspired by good life, you know, riches. It was basically, I was basically talking about everything I wanted, money, good life and riches. That was all I needed at that point in time. So I made a song about it and it was a really groovy song, up-tempo, kind of European and Afrobeat, you know, all in one song. So it was a really, 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 really good song and it's, it's actually becoming one of the biggest songs from the album. So we're putting out the, the video real soon. So yeah, that's what it is. Amen, one sweet sponge, lights, first class. Trust me, you don't want to see me mad, oh. Even all I mean, they said no say I be bad, oh. One of my favorite songs of the album has to be Before I Go Broke, which arguably is one of the biggest songs on the album right now. And that feature is Olamide, my real, my real G, Bado. Yeah, um, I listened to the song. I'm, I actually made the song. I made the song when I was high, so. I could actually say that song, God just gave me that song because I was basically just saying what, what was on my mind. And then when I came out to the booth, I was like, yo, that 
that's that real stuff people want to hear on the streets. I'm like, for real? They're like, yeah, that's what people want to hear on the streets. You have to put out this record. Basically, what I did was I listened to the record. When it was about time to put out the song, I said, yo, let me play this for Olamide. So I played it for Olamide. Olamide was like, yo, I like the song. Let's do the song together. I went over to his, you know, he welcomed me, you know. We had, we had a nice time in the studio. We had fun. And then at the end of the day, we came up with a hit record, and it's titled Before I Go Broke. And it was produced by OT Beats, and that's also one of my best records on my album, Six O'Clock. So that's what it is. Go get the album. The album is available on iTunes and also other online social media networks and platforms. So that's what it is. Six, six o'clock. That's why I never share my story with them. Fake friends, I just never share the rolling with them. Not in my circle, so you know that I ain't rolling with them. Internationally, I've... I've collaborated with lots of African superstars, you know, from, um, I can't even start mentioning, there's so much of them, but I've worked with people from different countries, like Navio from Uganda, um, Dallas from South Africa, Miss J from South Africa, uh, Mr. Easy from Ghana, and lots of other people like that. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with, um, to doing a record with, um, J. Cole. I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to doing a record with Drake sometime in the nearest future. Those are those are my those are my ultimate goals as far as international collaborations go. I'm also really feeling Janaiko right now in the weekend, but I'm not really like on that on that path where I must work with him. But that's as far as international collaborations go. <laughs> When it comes to my worst performance, I can't really pick one out because I always look for a way to change the situation along the lines. But I think one of the worst has to be an NYC show that I did in, um, I think in Abuja sometime in 2013. As I was performing live on the show, the equipment and everything went off like there was like power failure. So there was no light for almost 20 minutes and everywhere was dark. I had to start freestyling and then putting out and performing a cappella for the crowd and all that. I think that has to be one of my worst performances. As for my best performance, I've had so much of them, but I think the most memorable one has to be in Guax, in Abuja. We had, we had literally caught out the people that came for the show on stage or tried to get on stage. It was really, really crazy. Like the love there was so, so mad. People could not just see me and then not want to be with me on stage at that moment. So it was really, really crazy. And then leaving that, leaving that, that place as well was really, really crazy. Like the security, everybody, the students, they were just really crazy about the young six and all that. So it's all love, man. And I, and I, and I love those students, man. Shout out to my fans in Wax, man. It's all love, man. I got you. That's the truth. Started from the bottom, now we here, boo. I'm way ahead of you, the peeps ahead of you. Can't be seen in my rear view. See, I'm in a G6 on a mic, staring at my city through the window, and that's the revenue. See, I bring in the revenue. And my swag's kind of strange, even my revenue. I was born to be great, I'm my revenue. You're looking at the picture strange like the revenue's new. Life is a bitch, and I swear I almost drowned myself. Not a racist, but I run the town myself. Was looking for the best, that's when I found myself. The shot was like in the king, so I crowned myself. They like, damn, you're so sick. That ish is like a syndrome. People asking me where I think from. Cause I don't even write. But still all my flows tight, like 10% of my income. You know what it is, it's your boy six. And this is my outro for sound singing my music and I let go. Show me love. Love to show me love. KKT BM is here again.